I want to make an announcement. Rain will be here in three hours. Hope floats. Hope floats. I like that. This NASCAR favors me, and we're ready to go. Why would I want to bring bugs into my yard? I don't even recognize them. Incredible. Welcome to Flip My Florida Yard. Today, we head to Central Florida, where our design team takes on a challenge. We're transforming a front yard with an unsightly septic tank. The hump of all humps is a big challenge for us. Designers offer up tips on camouflaging your septic tank mound. But you can't do anything with it, so you may as well camouflage. Yeah. We'll learn about beneficial bugs. Only 1% of the insects are bad and considered pests in your landscape. And if the yard flip wasn't enough, we transform their driveway. It is a lot of work. All this on Flip My Florida Yard. Flip My Florida Yard is sponsored by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. <laughs> We're knocking on doors. So flipping yards into beautiful Florida-friendly landscapes, and all in eight hours. Is this really happening? Who's ready? Woo! Organized chaos. Experts show us how to use Florida-friendly landscaping it's principles. Putting the right plant in the right place. Water efficiently. Very low maintenance. Fertilized appropriately. All leading up to a dramatic reveal. Wow! <laughs> the best surprise of our whole life. We're here in Avita, Florida. It's time to flip a yard. You guys ready? Yeah! All right. Follow me. All right, let's go meet the Lindsley family. My favorite part right here. Hey, guys. Hello. You're home. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> We're off to a good start. Come on out here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, today's the day. We're Michael and Boyd uh, with the Lindsley family. Our front yard is depressing. It just is kind of a, an abyss, as you can see, right in the middle of the abyss, this really unattractive septic tank. Environmentalism means a great deal to me. So what we want to ensure is that we have a Florida-friendly landscape so that we can reduce our impact on our waterways and on our community. So before we get started, I want to introduce you to a few people that are going to potentially change your life. This is your flip crew. Yeah. We've got a lot plan today, a lot to do and a little time to do it. Follow me, guys. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> all right. No driving by, no peeking, all right? <laughs> all right, bye-bye, guys. Have a good time. All right, let the flip begin. OK, guys, the Lindsley family just left. You know what that means. We have eight hours to flip this floor to yard. Who's ready? Yeah! All right. all right, Rex, are you ready? Oh, you betcha, baby. <laughs> you might be too ready, but I love it. I love it. OK, ready and go, 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 go. Here we go. Today's flip is a big one, and the crew immediately gets to work removing large portions of grass that will border the septic drain field. The biggest thing is about how we use our precious resource of water. For this environmentally diverse flip, we turn to local landscape design team, Rex and Bobby Zimmerman from Exotic Design. Rex and I have been married for years and years. He's a type A, I'm a type B. So he's very artistic, he's so enthusiastic. A section of fountain grass going in here, a section of kuntes. These are all natives that are gonna be brought into this area that are gonna be really low maintenance for them. I'm the fisherman. I kind of reel him back in and just put him in check. But we work well together because of his enthusiasm, his love for what he does. I caught up with Rex to get a preview of his design. I know you came out here and uh, spoke with the lenses about what they want. What are some things that they wanted out of this yard? An environmentally friendly um, design, uh, yeah. low maintenance, um, you know, just something that they could actually use out here to enjoy and look at instead of this huge mound of drain field. And so that was the fun part, to be able to be creative and say, OK, how can we work this in? Rex's plan for camouflaging the Lindsley's unsightly septic hump involves creating a border of flower beds around it, drawing attention away from the septic with a mix of colorful, native, and Florida-friendly plants. The three main design features of the design are really, number one, 
to camouflage the drain field. Number two is to have it be a low maintenance, easy on the eye, flowing through one zone to another zone. And also, we want to be conscientious of our butterflies, bees, and have that be part of the whole overall design. Not only are we turning Boyd and Michael's front yard into a Florida-friendly landscape, but we're also giving them a complete driveway makeover. The driveway is probably the second thing I dislike most about our lawn. <laughs> Jesse, tell me about this process. What are we witnessing here behind us? So this is drive on. It's an eco-friendly overlay system, so you don't have to tear out your concrete. It's a powder, so it's like sand spreads out, and then we're setting the pavers on top. So I'm gonna bring water in to go under the paver. It's gonna grab the concrete, it's gonna grab the paver, the water activates it, and now we have a bond. This is made to renovate homes and give them a beautiful new look without all of that footprint to the earth. So I know we're gonna go up here to the end of the slab, but beyond that, Jesse, what are we doing? We're gonna do a 57 stone permeable surface to okay. uh, take all the water off the driveway, water out of the yard, drain that on the property so we're not sending out to the street. Okay. So this is yes, pretty sir. quick. Once you guys get it set up, yep. this happens fast, right? Yes, sir. My guys are ready. It's NASCAR favors, man. We're ready to go. Today, we're in Oviedo, flipping a yard for the Lindsley family. What? Is this really happening? Who are out exploring Hontoon Island State Park in nearby Deland. Michael and Boyd have struggled for years with how to camouflage their septic tank, bring beauty into their yard, and honor their commitment to a clean environment. We were just completely ecstatic about the chance to have a Florida-friendly lawn. So we're two hours in here in the Lindsley yard, and it's kind of an all-hands-on-deck. And our number one goal is to get the grass cut out and basically create a space for all the flower beds. The plant selection is a good mix of things that will look good year-round and be low-maintenance, um, plants well-suited for this area. Are you seeing more of a demand or more of an interest for this type of landscaping? I think you do. People want to be responsible with their watering. Almost 70% of our water goes towards irrigation. Yeah. In the summer, it's almost 90%. It's a lot of water. It's incredible. But I have to let you know, looking at the radar, we're expecting some rain around 3 o'clock. We're hoping to get finished before that rain hits. Yes. That's your job. Yes. How do you feel? We're keeping our fingers crossed and hope floats. Hope floats. <laughs> I like that. Well, rain or shine, the flip must go on. The crew's next big task is to lay down a weed barrier covering all the new flower beds. The weed barrier just helps to keep them from actually having to be out here all the time with chemicals or pulling weeds. When installing new plants, it's important to make sure they transition from pot to ground successfully. Tori Bonham shows us one way to do just that. Oh, look at that sucker. Perfect. Great roots in here. We're going to break these up just a little bit. And now what? All right, so we're going to take some of our soil here and want to introduce some of this to the native soil. So this is good stuff right here, right? Certified organic. Certified organic. Oh, yeah. Smells certified. Have our plant set in there, bring some of the native soil. Native soil. So we have the jungle growth at the bottom. We put that plant in there. We got yep. some native soil around the edges. Now we're gonna do. We're gonna finish it off with a topping of the jungle growth again. Okay. We'll come around the edges here a little here. What is this doing to this plant right now? So what you're doing is taking this plant and giving it optimal chance to survive. You know, with our humid subtropical climate, Florida is the ideal setting for all kinds of insects and pests to thrive especially in our yards. Bugs are so important to the entire world. I mean, we couldn't live without insects. We asked Professor Norman Lepla how to best manage pests in our yard. Healthy yards have lots of bugs, insects. The yard can tolerate a certain level of those things. In fact, some of them blend in. They're, they're natural. Pest management has changed a lot. First thing used to be, what do I spray? And we've moved people into the mindset of, What's the problem and what are the options for dealing with that problem? The way they go about looking for an insect or some other organism usually is under the leaves because organisms like to be protected. From, so you'll find them in hidden places. Once you find an insect that you think is perhaps uh, damaging in your environment, you can have it identified very easily. You can go to your extension office. You can go online nowadays and look for photographs. But the important thing is that you identify the cause of the problem and identify exactly what insect is involved because misidentification is very common. But most of the problems we see 
the plant heals itself or the, the insect is attacked by a beneficial natural enemy. When you have a pest problem that you can't control mechanically, that is maybe remove the insects or remove the damaged plant material and you need to spray something, you use the least toxic or least risk we call pesticides. And then you just treat the problem. You don't just dump these things all over the yard or the house, but you look for the problem and you treat that specific area. Insects are so important and almost all of them are beneficial or neutral in terms of, of our lives. So the main thing to do is to just not think of insects as a bunch of pests. Let's get back to the flip. We're in Oviedo, transforming Boyd and Michael's front yard into a landscape that's more in tune with Florida's environment. For us, uh, having a Florida family landscape means that we are doing our part to preserve the Florida that we know and love for the next generation. Plenty of plants are going into the Lindsley's front yard. Plants not only bring green, they also bring bugs. The goal is to create a more ecological landscape where we can have the good bugs that control the bad bugs and ultimately use less pesticides to help protect the environment. Orange County Extension Agent Tia Silvesi explains the benefits of managing yard pests responsibly. What does that exactly mean to manage pests responsibly? The first step is identify the pest, and that's where I can help. If you have a question what a pest is, you can send a photo to your local extension agent and identify what it is, because okay. it might be a good bug or it could be a bad bug. What we're gonna get is just a lot of beneficial insects by planting a lot of biodiversity in your landscape, like okay. flowering plants that attract the good bugs that will control the bad bugs. What is this? Why would I plant this to attract good bugs? Yeah, this one is a bush daisy and a lot of color and it attracts a large variety of beneficial insects. We're talking about bees and butterflies, which are pollinators, but also things like uh, flies and parasitic wasps, okay. which help eat the pests. Okay. How important is to have milkweed in your yard? Monarch butterflies is the main reason that we plant milkweed, from the caterpillar to providing nectar for the adult butterflies. What else are some things that homeowners need to know about pests? Not all bugs are bad, and actually only 1% of the bugs in Florida are actually pests that do damage to our plants. Okay. We want to minimize the amount of chemicals. We want to use the least toxic pest control products first okay. and only after we identify that there is a problem. T, a lot of people are going to be watching this thinking like, are you crazy? Like, why would I want to bring bugs, bees, into my yard. And it's just a different approach. Instead of like kill everything, we want to promote life and then the good life will usually take care of the bad pests for the most part. Okay. Whew. Starting to come together. While we're here toiling in the front yard, Michael and Boyd are out at Hontoon Island State Park. I hope they're having a good time. never been here before, so here we go. Located in the land, this 1,600-acre island is only accessible by boat. Once visitors arrive on the island, they can explore the palm and oak hammocks or the bald cypress swamps. You can also discover some artifacts from what was once a Native American community. What an amazing experience, mm -hmm. absolutely. Back in the yard, the deadline and the rain are looming, so the crew continues the task of trying to put all those plants in place. The flower beds deliberately border the septic, and for any Florida resident who owns one, there are very specific rules for planting around your septic. We don't want to plant anything on top of the septic tank. It's good to leave that in the sod or turf grass. Something else to keep in mind, too, realize that the septic crew is going to have to come in here and maintain this, going to have to pump it out. So we did leave space on the side for them to be able to bring their hose yeah, and the be able access. to pump access the tank. So, as you're thinking about landscaping around your drain field, think of maintenance, access for be able to maintain that septic tank. What you can do is you can landscape around the borders using some clumping grasses, and the roots from the grasses will help to hold that soil in place so that there's no erosion and it can stabilize the soil around the septic area. We're in Oviedo, on the home stretch of flipping the Lindsley's front yard into a Florida-friendly landscape. When I learned about this show, and then we met with Rex, and it started to come together that it was going to be a true Florida scape with the least impact on the environment, um, but still beautiful. 
we were ecstatic. As the crew races to finish, it's also racing to beat an impending rainstorm heading our way. We're trying to move just as quickly as we can. Plants are quickly going in the ground, and they're the bedrock of biodiversity for this yard. Give me a preview of yeah. some of the plants in this landscape right. here. Yeah, these are a lot of superstar plants we have in the landscape. Let's start with this one here, the Fakahatchee grass. This is native. It's like a bulletproof native plant, nice texture, always looks good in the landscape. Right here is a silver saw palmetto, and this is like the most tough <laughs> as nails native plant. It gives beautiful flowers that the bees love, and the berries are food for wildlife. One of my favorites, because it has that kind of silvery tone, great contrast with the mulch and yeah. other elements in the yard. This is the fire bush, and this is one of my favorite plants because it's a native plant, good again for birds, butterflies, bees, it gets little berries that are food for wildlife. Very colorful. I've seen yeah. hummingbirds just swarm this thing. They love this firebush here. That's right. And this one is a cultivar of the native and will stay very compact. Nice. What do we have here? Um, this is a bottle brush tree, and this one is another great one for bees. You'll just see the bees swarming on this. You see these blooms? Right. They literally look like a bottle brush. Yeah, they're nice little brushes. A lot of birds nest in here, great habitat for wildlife. Yeah, nice and layering, you know, for the wildlife. What do we have here? You can't see it, man. I wish it was in bloom. I know, this is, is so beautiful. pretty. The pink powder puff tree. It has the cutest little pink powder oh. puff blooms, and everybody who sees it loves it. This is another great kind of unique specimen plant. So we have it right up here in the corner where when they come home, they're going to see it, and they'll yeah. oh, be happy. Those pink powder puffs make you happy. This design is a really good Florida-friendly landscape design because it's conserving water and adding biodiversity for wildlife. The last step in this flip is Florida-friendly principle number four, mulch. This is kind of a special mulch we're using here. Tori, tell us about this. It says Florida mulch, our play safe blend. It is 100%. Malaluca wood. The Malaluca tree is an Australian tree that they introduced to the Everglades. They decided that they were going to dry up the Everglades. So now we're <laughs> left with an invasive tree yeah. that really has hardly any uses due to its uh, material composition. And you found a use for it. We sure did. <laughs> we wow. sure did. And what's good about using actual wood like this provides a whole lot of organic material to the soil, also just creating a nice mulch. Exactly right. The fibrous material of the wood yeah, is what that. gives it that real soft texture. Yeah. I mean, almost peat moss like. Mulch is not only good, but floral mulch is top notch. Real excited about you guys having this product and making it available. We got to spread some mulch, my friend. You ready? Let's wrap it up. Let's do it, man. With the last of the mulch going down, the crew's hard work has finally paid off. And even though the radar showed an impending storm all day, the rain has actually gone around us. Oh, I love how it looks. This yard is officially flipped. They're here. Hey, guys. <laughs> so excited. Well, what are you feeling right now? Talk to me. Uh, anxiety, nervousness, excited. See, look, I'm shaking. <laughs> yeah. I'm shaking. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I doesn't feel real. So we're going to get some glasses on you, okay. my glasses. Wow, yeah, nice. these are beauts. With those Very ridiculous appropriate. suckers yes. on. Yes. I, I, I look good in these, don't I? There you go. I you can do. feel I look beautiful. This is, this is me. Think slowly follow me. So just stay on the road, and you should be good. Keep coming this way, Keep guys. Coming. Looking okay. good, looking good. Are you ready? Here we go. Eight come. hours. We are so excited to show you this incredible Florida-friendly yard. So many people worked so hard today to make this a, a dream come true. Here we go. One, two, three. Remove your glasses. Wow. 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 No way. No way. This is amazing. This so is amazing. absolutely amazing. This is wow. amazing, y'all. Thank this you guys really so much. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Really, wow. really, really great work. Thank, wow. you. thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Before, this yard was just a resting place for a septic tank. Now, it's a Florida-friendly masterpiece, equipped with a brand new paver driveway with a permeable entrance, hundreds of plants and trees destined to attract pollinators, and a water-efficient drip irrigation system, all designed to hide the Lindsley's unsightly septic mound and bring a surge of biodiversity into this new Florida-friendly landscape. This is exactly Maybe. what we wanted. This is literally exactly what we wanted. There's nothing, the hump is gone. This would have taken us years to do in little bits as we acquired the ability to do it. This reflects our values. So there was a bit of an embarrassment before, right? It wasn't who we are. This is more, this is who we are. As a citizen in the state of Florida, with our precious waterways, this is a responsibility that, that we should be doing. Thank, Thank you for flipping our Florida yard.
Man, what a flip. You know, in a short time, Michael and Boyd's new yard will be full of color and pollinators, bringing life and biodiversity to their new yard. And their septic tank, well, it's still there, but now it's hidden by a beautiful Florida-friendly landscape. Well, that's our show. We hope you're inspired to help Florida's environment by starting in your own yard. And remember, everyone doing a little, well, that's a whole lot. Flip My Florida Yard was brought to you by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection in partnership with the University of Florida Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences Florida Friendly Landscaping Program. Just absolutely loving it. You should see the blossoms that are happening. We have butterflies flying through. It's amazing. We have our whole little ecosystem here with lots of insects and birds coming in and things are really taking root and looking so beautiful. It's been really fun to take care of it. The neighbors, green, aha, with envy.